All right, how about this take from seven-time NBA champ Robert Ory replying to a tweet that said the 01 Lakers versus the 17 Warriors who went. He says we win because Shaq would foul everyone out. Jay, <laughs> <laughs> Jay do you agree? Uh, all right, so obviously this team, 01, Kobe Bryant, right. you talk about, of course, Grant, Ron Harper, Robert Ory, Big Shot Rob, all right, Shaquille O'Neal. Here's the, I agree with, with, with him about the fact that Shaq is a beast offensively, right. but I think one of the things that they don't discount for is that Draymond Green, who's a genius at drawing fouls, he had no way in hell he would guard Shaq. Right. Like, hey, I love Dre. Right. Dre's one of the most special players that we have in the game of basketball, mm -hmm. deserving of his contract, honestly, and more because of what he brings to the table, right? right. Him, Pat Bev, you talk about Marcus Smart, guys that raise and elevate how their team competes on any given night. Respect the hell out of Draymond Green. Can't do anything with Shaq offensively. Right. Right? Defensively, excuse me. Defensively, yeah. But offensively, the way they move him and all the action. Like one of the things we did against Shaq is we pushed the tempo of the game, mm -hmm. right? So we sprint the ball up the court. We had our bigs sprint up the court right to the block, post up really hard, and then sprint out on different angles mm -hmm. to set ball screens. Because we figured the more we kept Shaq moving, the more he would get out of breath. It right. would take his legs away. And then offensively, inevitably, he would become a little bit more lazy because he didn't have the same win or we'd get him taken out of the game. Mm -hmm. So I get the advantage for the Lakers with Shaq. And Kobe's a different one. Maybe Kobe, you know, KD X each other out to a degree. I, I don't know about that. It'd be right. interesting to see. Or Clay, because Clay was more of his prime. I still right. give the edge to Kobe, but Clay would be a great matchup. I think Golden State might win that one, though. Okay. I think they because of the matchup issues. Right. The matchup issues in the three ball. Draymond said that it was his dream at matchup to go against Shaq, but he said he could get one stop. Well, he, he's going he to have that dream come him. true. He can go up against Shaq on the TNT crew. Yeah, exactly. When he's all said and done. Right. Uh, it's just not done in yeah. real life. Uh, game two, Eastern Conference Finals tonight. Who you got? I, I mean, look, the, the injuries for the Boston Celtics are extremely concerning for me. Um, having Derek White that's going to be out randomly for family, family issues. He's a guy that can space the floor. He's a guy that can initiate the offense to a degree. Uh, still a veteran presence on the floor, can make the right decisions. Uh, you have Al Horford still out in health and safety protocol. Mm -hmm. We're unsure whether Marcus Smart will come back. I believe Marcus Smart will come back tonight. Uh, will he be fully healthy to be right. the great equalizer against Jimmy Butler? I don't think so. I think the Miami Heat win this one tonight. Does not mean, though, that the Boston Celtics are out of the series. Mm -hmm. Derek White comes back. Marcus Smart gets a little bit healthier. Al Horford comes back. You will be seeing a different team that can gain a lot of momentum when they go back to Boston. Quickly, if... Uh, do you feel like Marcus Smart has pressure to come back and be one thousand percent? Okay. Because now you're out with Derek White, he needs to come right, back tonight. Right. He has to play tonight. Okay. Well, I got the Heat because I want to go to Miami and I'm going on the road for the finals. So Look, can you take me with you? <laughs> I know. Why I should have gone to the Eastern Conference Finals, I but you know I'm hanging out. <laughs> Anyways, Dave thank Robert, you guys. Can we talk? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.